We are in the ocean! This is crap season! Dear friends, welcome to JCB Live Wine Style. Do I need to still introduce Rafi? This is the incredible duo. We went fishing. Yep. And as we were diving naked in the Bodega Bay, because if you're naked, the crab are attracted to you. All those lovely, lovely arms are reaching for Rafael. Whatever is hanging on his body was hanging. They ate it. So we're trying to recover the secret of the gold membership of Raphael. <laughs> this is almost Dustin Power Day. So dear friend, this is endogenous crabs. So it's going to be thrilling today because we are pairing as well, Raphael. This recipe that you're going to do, which will be? It's going to be a uh, endogenous crab salad. Um, I'm going to do two, two ways, two style, same ingredients. We're going to do nice with the avocado, a little bit of free salad. How do you know it's going to be nice? Oh, it's going to be delicious. Oh, it's going to be delicious yeah. too. Um, We've never heard that before. It's going to be nice so and shells. delicious. <laughs> it's the shells, the blue frise, and uh, it'll be delicious once we go in. And it's going to be nice too. Yeah. So you promise oh. nice and delicious and, and delicious. delicious and nice. Uh, both. Both? <laughs> It's a lucky day. <laughs> so when we jumped naked in Bodega Bay, it was very important to keep warm inside. How do we keep warm? And specifically, Rafael, with El Sangre Mexicano. Oh. It's very easy. He needed a little wine. So we each drank a whole bottle, a whole bottle of Chardonnay from Delocious. Delicious, Delocious. Right? It's Delicious, Delocious. And this is the Russian River Chardonnay. One of our favorite wine because as you go down the Russian River, you end up in the Pacific Ocean. And as you know, we are in Bodega Bay almost. Yeah. So this is that same region. So it's meant to be together. Even the crabs love. You see, he's moving his legs now. <laughs> How he likes it. Back to life. And you know, there's 7,000 species of crabs. Can you imagine that? Yeah. And the West Coast of America is one of the best places on the planet to eat great crab. So we are blessed. Ooh, Ooh, if we sound. do it three times, the crab is suddenly gonna say, hello, hermanos. Look at that. He's even <laughs> saying hello. So freshness. Lemon zest, beautiful mm. apple, delicious white pear. Wow, it's gonna go so well with this, especially with the citrus of the lemon. Brian Maloney is an exceptional winemaker as well mm. as Katie Carter. And they make this wine like a Chablis with an exotic twist. And I love it because this is what we look for. We're gonna have this amazing crab and you want still a little bit of great depth and mouthfeel yep. in order to accompany the richness mm. of the crab and the beautiful ingredients Raphael is going to propose. So Raphael! Ole ole! Ole ole! Woo! Okay, dear friends, very excited to share with you this recipe, which is amazing. Uh, so I have about a pound of uh, dungeon scrap meat, all fresh. Let's put this white bonus back. Maybe if Jan just wants to jump right in. Well, we did it jump. earlier. Earlier. We don't need to show you. Yeah. You basically do this. Give me, give me the baby. Give me the baby. I'm gonna show our friends how we did it. Because Rafael and I love to fight. We were there right in the middle of the aisle. And we cut it, and then we open it, and then in the inside we create it. This beautiful flesh that comes. Mm. 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 Those crabs are amazing. So we won't lose time to show you how to do that. You all know. Not a fan. So for this recipe, I'm using about a tablespoon of fresh chopped tarragon, Dijon mustard, creme fresh, chopped celery, mm. about a tablespoon, and chives or scallions, whatever you have and uh, some lemon juice 
and mayonnaise that you've made. Yeah, of course. And everybody has seen how we make mayonnaise. Yeah. And I'm always tasting the ingredients like before Raphael one, because two. I think we need to say one more thing, Raphael. This is phalo mustard. Essential that you pick your mustard if you want to have that flavor profile because often I've been going to people's home and they use French mustard, that famous great brand that is great on hot dogs. And you've seen, we, we love it for hot dogs, yep. but for this, it doesn't work. So make sure you use Dijon mustard. Often, this is the case with this one, made with red vinegar. Yes. Made with vinegar, so it adds that beautiful gray acidity to the, to the mustard. So I did about a tablespoon of mayonnaise, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, right? Next, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of baked, two tablespoons of creme fraiche or sour cream. I like to use creme fraiche because it's more mild, more nicer and creamier. I'm going to do my uh, tablespoon of fresh chopped tarragon. That's it. And here it goes, about two tablespoons of chopped celery. That's adding mm -hmm. a great mm -hmm. deal. Mm -hmm. And celery from the garden, of course. Yes. yes. And the scallions or green onions, whatever you prefer or whatever you have. Mm -hmm. And the next, you should do pepper and salt. And, and we salt. use sea salt so the crab feels comfortable exactly. in the sea from the, <laughs> from, the <laughs> from the Oakville grocery of course and i'm going to do a squeeze of lemon juice about a half lemon juice just want a little bit of the acid in there and of course let's do a little bit of uh, lime zest yeah, so what does the lime zest add? I feel like the, the you know, this, this, the extra citrus flavor in it yes. is gonna give it like a nice- That ceviche like, feel a little like, bit. Yeah, like you're gonna, uh, when you eat it, you're kind of gonna feel it right at the end. It's like, oh, you're trying to identify like, what is that? And it's- It's, it's lifting it's, the whole yeah, thing. it's lifting the whole And not thing. to forget salt because we've added great salt and I think you need it because yeah. the crab is fairly raw and has a great fabric and taste, but needs a little salt. Yeah. So at this point, all we gotta do is just incorporate gently. It's just enough. See? And here we go, you got your crab salad. So how many crabs did you put here? I forgot. It's about a pound, it's a, at least a crab and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's important as you gave the amount of mustard and mayonnaise and everything. We Can we try? Yeah, and I'll let you be the judge. What does it need? I haven't tasted, so let's go back and see like, you know, you can always taste it and see what else the needs in it. I would suggest a little bit of, a little more lemon. Don't you think a tiny bit? Let's see. Maybe it was not correctly mixed, huh? What else? Mm, I think it's there. You have a note? No. Huh? And I make the one I made earlier. Wow. Down. Look at this. So Chef did not take my advice and I thank him for that. Because it would have probably been a mistake to add more lemon. <laughs> thank you Chef for being so polite with me. Yes sir. So now let's build it up. Mm. See it's really simple and easy. That's it? That's it. But I recommend for everybody it's healthy. No fat virtually except a little bit of the mayonnaise. But you know the mayonnaise as we discovered when we made it together is not that fattening at all. It's as long as you don't eat that whole amount, you manage again quantity. And there's nothing better than to favor the ocean as well. I mean, do we realize that every season is so well done? So we have obviously the ocean to contribute, the mountains, then the wild, then obviously soon pheasant, partridge, for some of you in the Midwest, elk, and all those great things. And we're going to show you a lot of that with all those yeah. different type of animals and species and fish. So, mm -hmm. you know, now on top of it, even in Europe, besides French West Coast crabs, we started to promote West Coast American crab. It's becoming so well known, so good. And I think the meat level is so high. That's what I love about it. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do 
I'm gonna do nice with a nice, uh, like a tostada. So you can do, if you want, like a little bit, uh, like a meal side kind of, right? Yeah, let's be creating a little mountain. You know, nice and general. Yes, be generous. generous. Or maybe a little bit of a leg here. Look at that on top. And I'm gonna garnish it just with a little bit of frisee on top. So you feel like the crunchiness. I'm gonna do some uh, nice, couple of nice radishes. And I feel, Rafael, we should go as well with our Pinot Noir, dear friends. As Rafael is dressing up the plate, the Pinot, is outstanding as well with shellfish, crabs, obviously oysters, and even to put a little bit in your mignonette if you have oysters as well. But imagine oysters from, you know, this west coast of the country plus endogenous crab salad and you have an amazing meal and you don't have to have anything warm even. Yep. And you have the Chardonnay and the Pinot, you stay in the Russian river and look how beautiful. She's a little garnish in there. Nothing crazy. Look at how gorgeous. Elegant, refined, sophisticated. The next one, she's a little frisee on the bottom. If you want, she's like straight, nice crop in there. Mm. I would do it again. Right? Beautiful. Oopsie. And then this one you can be creative or whatever. And then this one, I think this recipe is gonna be amazing if you do a crab cake style. Yes. Still like, you so know. So you could cook she, those on the saucepan. Yeah, this one you can just add some breadcrumbs in it and yes. one egg and fold it in nice. And then you can just make some crab cakes. That's another great idea. That's another great idea too. Yeah, you could do it cold and well. warm either way. Yeah. I think the Pinot Noir is light and elegant and it's made by Brian Maloney again open top wood for manor. So it's long maceration, around 25 days, skin contacts, one pigeage a day, two remontage, one in the morning, one in the evening, which allows a lot of delicacy and, and that beautiful finesse and color that you see, that color which is really given during that first fermentation that you see here. Magnificent. And I love it with crab because it's often unexpected. We always want to go Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay or Champagne. We can do that too. But with Pinot, I think it's a wonderful marriage. It's just a couple of chives for garnish. Mm. That's it. That's it. Let's <coughs> finish it with a little bit of a little bit of sea salt and that should be it. A little bit of pepper. And there we are. Beautiful. Isn't it amazing, dear friends? Two lovely, gorgeous recipes. I mean, Rafael, you're gonna hold them too. And I'm gonna hold our wonderful Deloach wines. But more importantly, I need to hold my good new friend. And I think, like this, we're making the perfect family. Here we are, from our table to yours. Dear friends, thank you for being with us. Make sure you never forget what comes from the ocean. And don't forget the legs.